and welcome to NS. Oh no! Here on a respawning channel. Um, this is the gaming channel or the show, I guess. Uh, the show where I go through all of the. Sorry, I just flipped my microphone. All of the uh, Nintendo Switch Online games, and uh, today we're going to be doing Super Nintendo, I guess. Maybe title card, possibly. Dang, I missed it again. Oh, live editing, folks. Always get a roll. Hello, hi, I'm down here. Hi, hello. Uh, so today we're going to be playing F-Zero. Um, I've got this game. Um, I actually have it on cartridge, but I've never really played it that much. I played it a bit. I mentioned before that my uncle had the top-loading thing. We put the floppy disks in, in the SNES. I played it briefly then, but it really wasn't my kind of thing. F-Zero X came out on the N64. Oh, I really love that game, even though I was terrible at it. And then F-Zero GX came out on the GameCube. <laughs> I never really got past the first race. I was really bad at it. Um, but I'm quite excited. If there is a remake of that coming out, I'm going to be getting it. And I will be giving it a go. Um, we're going to play the original game. Let's give it a go. It should have some pretty sweet music. As far as I know, you play um, you play as Captain Falcon in this, and it's pretty much the only one you get to play as. Oh, I suppose you get to choose. That's cool. Let's be Captain Falcon anyway. The Blue Falcon! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what beginner this is. Yeah, Night League beginner, that'll do. Oh god. I'm gonna assume A is go. Or is it B? Nope, it's B. Of course it's B. Ooh, bumpers work, that's nice. Can you do. You need to double the gear spin. Oh, we can smash him, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you got power thing going on. Okay, I really should understand. Oh, I didn't realise the music actually translated from the original game to the N64. That's very cool. Oh, where am I? Where am I? I'm four! Ah! Ah! That's not so bad. What's this? Bumped him. Am I supposed to bump him? Do not know. Am I third? I'm third, okay. He's second. I do. Ooh. Whoa! 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 What's that? What does that do? Oh, no, jump! Oh, do have a little boost, that's fun. It's there. But I don't know, I can't check my boost, I don't know how much I actually have. Right, so. He's my current rival, I'm gonna get him. Oh, I can see first place as well. Oh my god, I did a thing I never do, I took my thumb off the acceleration. Whoa, are we just lapping people? Oh, you. We're lapping people, I'm not even getting first. No, 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 no. Oh, it's hard. Right, this is hard, but it's easier than the N64 version. The N64 version is bloody difficult. I always, always fail it. I'm just no good at it. But this is also only the first level, so hey ho. Um, man, the SNES can pull this off. This is this is good. Whoa. I mean, it looks murky, like all the side stuff, but all like the initial your main character and stuff. It all looks really good, man. It all feels fast, really fast. Not actually that slidey. I thought it was way slipperier. I came first. Oh, nice. It is beginner. Let's let's be fair. I am terrible. <laughs> all right, that's all right. Okay, cool. All right, let's um, do big blue. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, 
Oh my god, okay, cool, right. Um, I don't know why I picked F0 today. I think it's just something quick that I can play. Um, I was tempted to do a Zelda, but it is quite late, so maybe not. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. Oh, the lap's like really long, so I've got five. Huh. Okay, the maps are really small, unless this guy is absolutely terrible and just going to hang back for ages. I'm literally lapping people now. I'm going 400 kilometers per hour. Uh, God, what's that? Four kilometers is, no, five kilometers is three miles. So... I don't know. It's, 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 it's fast. I guess popular belief in America that like, you know, the British actually do things in miles per hour, not kilometers. Um, yes, we have the metric system, but we also use old stuff as well. In a grocer's, we tend to use things in pounds and ounces. I'm not sure why. Um, and then uh, when it comes to the roads, it's all in miles. It's just how we do things. Whoa, hang on. Whoa. Okay, oh, oh no, oh! Oh, he's my rival, okay. I'm not doing very well at this. I am doing pretty well at this. Shut up, Stuart. Stop telling yourself rubbish things. I'm doing quite well. Um, 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 oh. I haven't had to use the boost at this particular level. God, my left thumb is killing me, though. It's all like the micro touches you have to throw. You have to move so quickly all the time. I remember playing a game called Top Gear 2. Right. And this game pretty much just held on to B the entire time. And you just kept going forwards, and that's all you did. Well, you could say forwards. You had to turn left and right here and there as well, and pass other cars and whatnot. And you get a little speech bubble about the Roadhog, which is quite fun. Um, but yeah, I remember we I was playing it around a neighbor's house millions of years ago now. And both of us would have an indentation of B on our thumbs because we held it down so long. And it was, <laughs> oh, our thumbs are really hurting as well. We used to play Mortal Kombat quite a lot as well. And uh, had to wreck our knuckles. Oh, I did alright that one. Wrecking our knuckles to do all, like, you know, do this. To get the um, karate chop, whatchamacallit. You know? Um, yeah. I'm doing alright at this. How many levels are on F0? Safe, gotta be above 15 apparently. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, I don't recognize this tune. Oh, that was a mighty hairpin right there, that was pretty nasty. Oh, there's a little loop coming up as well, that's not really fun. Oh, actually. Oh, no, that's pretty satisfying, that one. Huh. The hairpins are not nice, though. I suppose we can use the shoulders, but I haven't been battered for power pretty low. Oh, God, my thumb. There you go. Get that. Thank you. Right, I'm second now. That's good. I remember this is Mario Kart. I've got no power of the... So, against Mario Kart, I would prefer Mario Kart over this any day. Not to say this is bad. This is actually quite fun. I am actually enjoying myself. This is quite good. But I would pick Mario Kart any day more because it's just more hectic, especially with weapons and stuff going on. <coughs> if I remember correctly, this was a launch title for the SNES. And like, wow, what a launch title, to be honest. It's really good looking. The music's really great. You're going fast as hell, and yeah, clearly you can see you're moving quickly. This would have blown people's minds in the 90s. Absolutely would have blown their minds, especially being on a cartridge as well, not like a disc or a laser disc, which is what some games were like. Drag, dragon, what is going down? What? Oh. I just got battered. That was not fair. Um, 
yeah, especially things like uh, Dragon Dragon Blair. Uh, oh god, which was on a laser. So basically, Don Bluth had drawn the whole thing, and it was amazing and very directional. And you had to you had to basically get what's his face there very quickly. Um, it's an incredible game. Um, we will play that one day, I believe I have it on the Switch. Uh, so we'll give that a go. I actually had it on the Xbox, I was able to 100% it, like, without a failing. But I played it that often, that much, it didn't really matter. But in the arcades, when you had to pay for it, that was 50p every time you died, and it was a lot. No! Oh, I fully died. I was doing re Oh, the S's on my boosts. I just realized. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, let's try again. Sand Ocean. Okay. Right. We're going to finish this race. We're going to do this race. Oh, hello. Oh, I did get a little boost. No, you stop doing that. You hurt me last time. This is quite a long track. Um, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. But yeah, I big recommend you check out Dragon Blair. Um, it's just a really fun game. Um, it's also really frustrating. <laughs> but if you can unlock it and kind of play it, it plays like a film, like a short film, where you have Dirk the Daring. Dirk. So it's not supposed to be pronounced Dirk. It's a German name. It should be Dirk. But uh, I only know that because of Fool of Org. Um, in Conan. <laughs> uh, Conan O'Brien. Um, yeah, I've just realized I've got a ring light right next to me that I haven't turned on. So uh, I apologise if my lighting's terrible. And uh, yeah, you play Dirt the Daring, and you got to save a princess from a dragon, and it's really great. Uh, some of the rooms repeat themselves, which is fine, but they also kind of mirror. Um, but then you could die in like strange ways, very different ways. Almost every time you don't do a crap move, Dirk will die, and uh, and it's unbelievably frustrating. So like I say, with playing it in the arcade, oh, that was a coin chomper. Whereas, if you play at home, not so much, because you've already paid for it. That's better. Right, cool. I'm, I'm doing much better in this one now, I think. Right, anyway. Um, so, back to F-Zero. So, the N64 version is the one I want to play the most. Now, that thing, that game also blew my mind as well when I first played it. It was crazy. The fact you had the cylindrical roads you could drive upside down was insanely cool. Uh, my second hat. Oh, I see first. And the, the roster of characters you can have is really cool as well. There's like 30 different cars you can play as, which was brilliant. Um, I always picked the one guy that's slightly ahead of us now. He looks like a little hedgehog car. Um, oh, really? Am I? Yeah, okay, cool. Two laps to go, it's not so bad. Okay. Yeah, this guy right here in front of me, I used to pick him all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, so I would play that all the time. So when the GameCube came out, you would know I knew I was terrible at this game. Absolutely awful at this game. I bought the game uh, version of the game straight away, GX, because it was fantastic and I loved it. It looked gorgeous as well. Um, and even now it still looks amazing. It was, I believe it's the only game game that had 60 FPS. Something like that. And that's going back in like 2003 or whatever it was. And, uh, oh shit. And yeah, but I was so terrible at it. I, I just I couldn't even get past the first uh, first level. Um, essentially, I could never rank it high enough to get to the next bit. Limit three. What's limit three? Oh, oh, oh! I see. I get it. No. Oh. Right, okay, I understand. There's a limit to how many... Oh, Jesus, that was quick. And zip ahead, zip ahead, zip ahead. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Ah, oh, a second. Um, yeah, and uh, and I played that game quite a lot and never really get much further. Um, it was a very cool game, though. It was really cool. Uh, this was fun. Um, we'll see if there's a new level, and I'll pause it, and we'll go from there. There is a new level. Deathwind. Not what I wanted. Aha, that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. We're going to come back to F-Zero um, in the future, because that was fun. I enjoyed my time. Um, I'm doing quite well at it.
probably why I'm enjoying my time, to be fair. Uh, guys, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below what game you want to see me play next. And uh, give me a challenge as well. Um, let's see what I can do uh, with those. I'm not very good at challenges, but hey, I like to challenge myself, and it's a good time. Uh, this show is coming to you every single Monday, through every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, basically five days a week. Um, and it should be hopefully for the rest of the year, which would be really nice. And uh, yeah, basically just be good people and uh, be nice to each other, yeah? Oh, <laughs> it didn't work again. Hang on. <laughs>